Hey, what's up guys? We're out here at Dallas Karting Complex. I'm out here with Vincent, and today what we're gonna do is I'm taking my 206 engine off, and I'm going to reseal the side cover. Uh, some of those 206 engines are known for having bad gasket gaskets, and they leak oil, and mine's been doing that since the day I got it. So I'm gonna uh, break the seals, which means I can't race with it anymore, and I'm gonna have it uh, reseal with some kind of silicone, and um, you know, so hopefully it won't leak oil anymore. Well, what are you going to do, Vincent? I'm going to change the VLR, put the 206 back, and do some endurance practice today. He's getting ready for a 206 endurance race. So, yeah, we'll see how long it takes him to take the VLR package off and put it the 206 package back on it. So hopefully it'll be a uh, productive day and a fun day. All right, so he pulled his engine out, took him nine minutes. And again, he's not a carter that's been doing this for 20 years. So kind of goes to show you can do it relatively quick once you have a little experience. I got my engine out. So what I need to do next is I need to drain the oil, which I have two options either here at the front or in the back of the engine. I'm gonna go with the front option. I'm gonna drain the oil and this side plate right here, this gasket right there is what's been giving me trouble. So I'm going to uh, pull this side plate off. After I drain the oil, we're gonna silicone it, uh, put it back on, let it dry, and uh, put it back on the cart and get at it and see if it uh, leaks oil and hopefully it doesn't I'm standing here with Doug and he's gonna put my 206 engine back together hey guys so it has two lifters one for the intake one for the exhaust they simply um, slide into the lifter lifter holes and then uh, this is the camshaft and the the lifters actually uh, will set on top of here and as the cam rotates it pushes the lifter up which in turn pushes the valve down So that's what opens and closes the valve. So, so is that what makes me real fast? Yes, sure So as you were this has to be timed with the crankshaft we have a dot here and a dot here There's a dot right there the um, dots have to be lined up. If it doesn't, it won't run. So you take, drop that in place. Make sure your lifters are still in and the dots are both lined up. A couple of spacers and that's pretty much it for the inside. Then we have push rods So these push rods go in here and then actually sit on top of the lifters. But uh, when, the, when the camshaft turns, it pushes the lifter up, which pushes the push rod, uh, which in turn uh, pushes this um, uh, rocker arm that pushes the valve. This is the valve stem. The valve is actually the valve heads in inside. And then it moves in, back and engine forth. stuff. Yep. That's what he's talking about, engine stuff. So now we're ready to put the uh, side plate on after we put some silicone on. Yes, sir. And silicone is right here. Product placement. Ultra gray Permatex, best you can buy. Been using it for 30 years. Until someone else sponsors us, and then we'll, <laughs> we'll say they're the best. They're not sponsoring us, but so you guys can see what this is. You cleaned all this off with brake clean? Yes. So the gaskets on these are very weak gaskets and they tend to blow out a lot. Are you gonna have to clean the inside edge of the excess? No, it's all right, it won't hurt it. All right, so the silicone is on.
I got this hammer here. On. It's on. Got it. And put your bolts in, snug them down. Good to go. Thank you, Doug. You're welcome, sir. I got the engine put back together with the help of Doug and Mike a little bit and uh, got it back on the cart. Vincent's got his 206 engine back on his cart and just making some uh, minor adjustments to it. Hey guys. Working Very enthusiastic. <laughs> what are you working on? It doesn't fit much. <laughs> oh, uh, chassis yeah. protector? Yeah. I just. All right, guys, so that's uh, pretty much it. I think we um, got everything back on there correctly and gonna let it dry and I put oil back in it, gonna fire it up in a, after a while and, uh, and get out there and get going. It's um, just a spare engine for me, a practice engine. But um, Doug here uh, helped me out with it and I'm uh, very appreciative. Uh, and we're out here at Dallas Karting Complex, so if you're ever in the uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area, definitely come and uh, check this place out and run some of the rental carts or uh, you can rent some uh, actual go-karts, some higher level go-karts from them. You got anything to say, Doug? Come on out, race some go-karts, have some fun. All right, guys, hit that like button and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.